Hey everyone, John Kettler here, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit more unusual. This is called Social Saturday, where we want to go ahead and talk about something a little more community relevant, not necessarily competitive content, but something special related to the fact that this is a social card game, something that lots of people come together and play, not necessarily just as a game, but as something to do, to enjoy, and to foster a community. So, today's subject is signing cards. I actually have a pretty big collection of signed cards. I have cards not only signed by famous people as far as game creators and illustrators, but I've also got cards that are signed by a whole lot of different players, and I hope to start doing that again. I bet if you have ever gone to a national championship or world championship, you've seen at least some sort of player here or there carrying around a binder full of signed cards by people same idea i hope to restart that very soon starting with the next regional championship i go to maybe international if i don't go to any more regionals and i would honestly love to get more cards signed by people uh, so let's go ahead and start with uh where i've gotten some of these cards signed over the years so first off we've got cards signed by players you'll actually notice if you look close enough some of these are very rare cards part of it was due to the fact that i really wasn't as concerned about card condition at the time when i got these signed it was like the mid 2000s when i did there are some surprisingly expensive things as you can see there's a first edition koga's ditto a first edition shadowless base club fairy and shadowless zapdos among other things You'll notice that I've got some pretty cool cards from people here. Uh, the Clefairy is actually from one of my friends, Faisal. He's got his own YouTube channel. The Ditto is signed by one of the well-known judges, Mike Martin, a.k.a. Pokepop. Some of these other cards are by famous people, retired or still active. You've got this Whalemore signed by one of the founding members of Kyle Sukovich's streaming group, The Top Cut. This is by Drew. The Zapdos, while well, you guys probably don't know him, he's from a, he's a friend of mine, old friend who hasn't played in a really long time. And over on this page, we've got some other neat cards by people, and to be real with you, a couple of these people I don't even know anymore, or if I know them really well, then they don't play. So this Japanese, that's just somebody that I met at the tournament in 2004. The Magnemite, though, the Magneton, that's by someone pretty well-known even today. That's by Mikey Fouché, a.k.a. Magnichu. And this is the rare and elusive Kyle Sukovich autograph card. Maybe I could have gotten him to sign something else, but I guess he was playing. No, he wasn't playing that. He wasn't playing that. He was using he was using a different deck, but he, oh yeah, he was using Walrein that year. So he wasn't signing it because he played that deck. He just signed it because he liked it. And we've got an Ente signed by 2006 national champion Martin Moreno. Metapod signed by the founder of SixPrizes.com, Adam Capriola. A Brox Ninetales signed by 2007's national champion, Chris Fullup. Man, I've got some pretty cool stuff here. I've, oh, yeah. I have a signed card by Tablemon himself. This is back when he used to call himself Mudkip. So, of course, he... Got a Mudkip sign. Imagine that. Moving on to the next page. Uh, who do we have? Some people maybe maybe all know. Uh, this actually this is actually kind of funny. I don't even remember which Japanese player signed that. That might have been Yamato. I, I don't really remember. It might have been might have been the guy that got third that year, but. Uh, yeah, he added something really funny here. Something a little unusual. You, you go figure it out.
Huh, we've got a few more cards. Uh, some cards that were signed by some friends at League at different points, and that's actually all the basic foil energy being signed. Those are a whole bunch of different people who went to my first and most favorite league at the time. We've got a Ross Cothon signed Dark Tyranitar. This was from his very first Worlds Finals all the way back in 2005. We have a Hariyama EX. It's signed by one of the well-known casters, Josue Crims Romano. A Professor Birch signed by my good dear friend, Master Professor Birch, a.k.a. Richard Collinsworth, the original great tournament organizer of the Dallas-Fort Worth area and many, many other areas as well. I think I've got about two or three of those signed, not just those. And that might actually be just about it for the special signed cards. I've also got a couple cool things that aren't just signed. Uh, Oh yeah, here we go. This one's signed by Sugiyoshi Yeah, 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 yeah I cannot talk today. Sugiyoshi Yamato, the 2004 World Champion, the first World Champion of the Masters Division. That was just because we were playing a fun game with each other where I was using a cheap deck and we were in the open playing area. He didn't know that much about unlimited formats. Oh yeah, and this was a uh, cute little promo card that Jay Witz was handing out a while back. I think it was a few years ago at this point. That might actually be it this time for real. There are also some really fun cards that the players from Denmark handed out. Some of y'all might know Stefan. Stefan is the older brother of the world champion from the seniors division a couple years back and all the players from Denmark gave these out and you had a lot of fun random stuff I think one year he gave me a Stefan's XXL sofa whatever that means but it looks like it's completely on the up and up nothing bad implied there lots of fun good memories from all over the years but I bet you guys are waiting for the best of everything which would be the cool valuable illustrator cards we have right here rainbow and double rainbow notice that's a hollow first edition signed by mr akabane the illustrator of these cards so normally as far as collectors go illustrated cards are probably the highest tier of things you want signed uh, other than that usually getting a card signed will just make its condition worse in a lot of collectors minds and not worth anything like that whole binder back there that's really just personal collection of mine that doesn't help with the condition but these these are signed by the illustrator and so that makes them significantly rare and harder to find especially since to my knowledge mr akabani has not gone to another world championship to sign cards Moving on, we've got a Reggie Steel star signed by Masakaza Fukuda, the illustrator of not just this gold star, but all 27 of the gorgeous gold stars from the Ruby Sapphire Emerald era. Very low print run for those two, and they're also really popular cards. I kind of wish that I got my Rayquaza star signed by him, but eh, oh well. And we have a very special card. This is a card called Grand Party that was released as a promo card in Japan. There are very few of these. These are, I don't know the current price, um, all the way back in 2004, somebody offered me 50 in cash the moment they saw that I had it. Obviously, I said no. I think the value of a card, normal version of this anyways, is probably somewhere in the $100, $200 range. But... Notice something special? This is signed by Mr. Ken Sugimori, who is actually the illustrator of all three of these birds right here. These are all Ken Sugimori artworks. So, 
this is a very unique, unusual version of the card. I don't think that anybody else in the world has this one. This might be a one-of-a-kind, because as far as I know, he doesn't do signings too often. And last, but certainly not least, the greatest addition to my collection is not what I'm about to show you. I've actually got a card I got from my good friend Taylor Davis in a trade a while back. It's just sitting as part of my collection. I don't think it will ever leave my collection. This is supposed to be a signed version of a card by Mitsuhiro Arita. You can compare and contrast these signatures though because boom. Not just any boom, but the boom to end all booms because this was signed by Mr. Mitsuhiro Arita himself at the Dallas Regional Championship last weekend. And this is probably, if not the pride and joy of my collection, one of the all-time greatest cards I think I've ever had the pleasure to own. So this is not a PSA 10 gradable card or anything like that. It's got a little bit of edge where it's got maybe a little crease that you don't notice. It shows up really well on the camera, of course, but I figured, you know what, this is my collection Charizard. I want to make this really, really special. So let's go ahead and get it signed by the man himself. And I just somehow got lucky enough between rounds of casting at the Dallas Regional Championship because I was able to get this baby signed. And as far as I know, even though this is a highly sought out card, super popular, everybody in the collecting world wants this if they don't have it. I think this might actually be one of the only copies of a first edition basic Charizard ever signed ever by Mr. Arita and as a result that gets to join my esteemed collection of signed cards so thank you very much for taking a look at all my signed stuff maybe you if have if you haven't started up a signed binder this could be your chance to do so and thanks a lot for watching